uh, YouTubers. If there is one thing that flat earthers often use, it is perspective and horizon. Um, because we see a flat horizon, that's the reason why the Earth is flat. Uh, we see the sun disappear because it is perspective. You can already see uh, that I debunked that in another uh, video of mine. And now I've come across uh, uh, a number of people that, uh, again, are very easily with um, twisting reality so that uh, they can make a point uh, to try to prove a flat earth. What always surprises me is that people use blindly content available uh, on the internet. Uh, as soon as somebody says flat earth proof, then many start copying it and use that again as their proof for a flat earth. And uh, But I found two who um, um, use a certain video and, and then around it have their so-called definition of perspective. Um, and um, they bend it in such a way that I call that a scientific fraud. And that's uh, the only reason why I want to respond. Because I don't like that. If you want to prove something, um, then um, do it in, 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 in the right way and uh, in an open way. Don't bend the truth. So, we are going to use, uh, as I always will do, use the flat earth science itself. Um, so I'm not going to prove you around earth with around earth, but I'm going to show you that things don't work on the flat earth. Uh, and so prove you that the earth is round. Now, G. Henning Kalogia uh, found somewhere this picture and he's trying to use that to explain um, at a certain moment what the horizon is, but actually he has the, the, the right thing here in the sense that the definition of the horizon is where the air meets the earth. That point, if we look afar, is the horizon. And uh, you don't need to draw a picture of a ball that is smaller than a moon and with a guy that is 200 miles high and a building that is 200 miles high at the distance of 2,000 miles. And here comes his first strange observation. He thinks the horizon is too low. I don't think so, because the definition is air meets earth. And he then thinks he should turn the picture and then he lets the guy look in that direction and he calls it the horizon line. Now, that is not the horizon line, that is a horizontal line, which is something different. And the horizon line is also not the horizon. Here he makes a terrible mistake. If he had been a little bit clever to try to make his point still, he should have taken the straight line under his feet and then he could have said, if you look in that direction, the horizon should be here. Yeah. Now, let us use his picture. Then, according to him, because in the flat earth, this would not happen. It's impossible. It is impossible that a part of a building disappears behind that line. So we can now safely say that when we see a building where a part is going beyond behind the horizon then you must be on the globe he makes that very clear here yeah and on a flat earth you would always be able to see the bottom and the question he then poses in the video is do these buildings look slanted because that building should hang backwards no dude if you are looking at 19 kilometers away from a building that is 60 meters high and you try to compare that with the guy that is 200 miles high over a 2000 mile distance you are definitely messing around with reality and with the truth and i call that fraud sleep with your eyes open does it a little bit more subtle he has better uh, animations, but basically 
He said, if the earth was a ball, all boats would be leaning backward away from it. And he has drawn here a boat that is leaning backward. And the next moment he will tell you that a ship moving across from left to right, or left, uh, right to left, would lean over from one side to the other as it sails across the horizon. Yeah, do you believe it? Look how small I have to make a round globe to match the tilting of this boat. And also he then comes up with the build, as I say. Do they look slanted? Do they look tilted? Of course not. But you just gave a wrong presentation. And now you want to fool people and say, look, they look right, so it must be a flat earth. It doesn't work like that. Perspective ways works in a simple way. Basically, the viewing angle from a top to the bottom of an object decides how large you see something. And the farther something away is, the smaller the viewing angle, the smaller you will see it. And that will help our brain to decide whether something is close or farther away. But there is another rule on perspective which is evenly important, if not the most important. If we assume that the horizon is always at eye level, as all flat earthers take as a golden uh, definition, then there is this thing that counts. Everything above eye level will always stay above eye level, no matter how far gone, uh, away it is. Sorry. Everything that is below our eye level, because it's smaller than us or lower than us, will always stay below the horizon. So no matter how far this ship is away, if we would zoom in with a telescope, we will always see that part above the horizon, that part below the horizon, and the horizon behind it. On a flat Earth, this would continue forever. You could zoom in and magnify and magnify. That would always be the rule. And therefore we can also now define that in case a part of an object far away is below the horizon, disappears, is no longer visible, then there must be a globe. The definition is clearly given um, in a number of samples now. Now, let's have a look at... Um, a part of the, the video they both use and the guy who made the original video took some time and effort to show where he is and we are going and uh, we have seen the residential block uh, already we're going to look at the parachute tower there and, uh, and a bridge here and here you see the problem of blindly uh, accepting video from somebody and then use it as proof because if they had look looked better they would have seen a sailboat here that is already behind the horizon. It is behind the curve. And they should have taken some time to also look up this tower. Because if you do, you will see it stands on an almost 6 meter high concrete foot, which is no longer visible. And you could also look up that the beach is elevated above sea level. Um, because um, the tide is at least two meters at that location. So in order for these pavilions not to get wet when it's high tide, they need to be all, at least two meters above sea level, add to that the height of the boulevard, add to that the height of the tower base, and it all should be visible. But it isn't. The pavilions are not visible, the boulevard is not visible, it is all behind the horizon. Now, just to show that I didn't make up the height of the tide, you have here the tide table. Further on in the video comes then the Marine Parkway Bridge. And again, it is shown as if this is proof for a flat earth. But if they had taken just a minute to look it up on the internet, they would have seen that this is what the bridge looks like if you look at it from the other direction and close by. And so it took me some time, but I managed to scale them in such a way that, as you can see, 
the size here is exactly that the size here to that joint is exactly to that joint and from there to the lower part of the deck is the same and we now see that the water level here in the video is higher or actually it is missing this whole part so by making the water levels equal as on flat earth all water is level we can only come to one conclusion the whole bridge is lower and it is lower because there is a substantial part that is behind the curve of the earth that's all I can make of it they have taken pictures blindly videos blindly applied it tried to use false imagery of perspective and what have they achieved nothing they used the video that is actually the best video to show that the earth is round in the next video some dudes do the same with ships disappearing and I'm going to debunk that as well um, but there will be some effects there and um, it is interesting to already study uh, the effects so that I don't have to educate people uh, when we get there and uh, for that um, if you look up uh, refraction and mirages etc uh, on wiki then you can see what it is how it works and what it should do and uh, it will be explained later in the other video thank you so far for watching feel free to leave comments but please stay on topic if you want to comment on this video then we co comment on perspective curvature and perspective and uh, what is correct or not correct in the videos uh, don't come up with other subjects please we'll make other videos where we can talk about gravity or GSM or whatever you want this is about curvature and that perspective and the videos prove a globe earth thank you very much